Microsoft Defender is a solid antivirus and malware defense tool. It's improved over the years to become one of the leading defense tools on Windows PCs, but not everyone knows that you can actually get it on Linux too. Here we're going to show you how to install and set up Microsoft Defender on Linux systems. While many Linux users outside of the enterprise may not understand the point of Microsoft tools on Linux, those on the inside will understand they can be invaluable. The ability to integrate with Active Directory and much of the Microsoft ecosystem that has taken over the workplace is huge for desktop Linux, and it can make your favorite distro a more viable OS in the workplace. One of the most important parts of the enterprise is, of course, security. This tutorial shows you how you can install and use Microsoft Defender on Linux to make sure your IT department can scan your machine for threats. How to install Microsoft Defender in Linux. In order to install Microsoft Defender on Linux, the instructions differ from distro to distro. Microsoft hasn't put all their packages in the repository, so you have to make sure the right dependencies are installed and add the repos. RPM-based distros. You'll need yum utils or dnf utils. sudo dnf install yum utils. To configure the Microsoft repos, the basic syntax of the Microsoft repos is as follows. There's a mirror that you can explore to see what you're going to want to type in here. I'm going to be using prod.repo for the sake of consistency, as all distros have prod.repo or prod.list available. So for this Fedora system, that command will be the following. sudo yum dash config dash manager dash dash add dash repo equals https colon slash slash packages dot microsoft dot com slash config slash fedora slash 33 slash prod dot repo. For a CentOS system, the command would be the same. sudo yum dash config dash manager dash dash add dash repo equals etc. Except on the end, after config, you would type slash CentOS slash 8 slash prod dot repo. I'm using the yum command because it's targeted at RHEL, CentOS and Oracle Linux, but you can also use DNF. You may also need to import Microsoft's GPG key using the following command. sudo rpm dash dash import http colon slash slash packages dot microsoft dot com slash keys slash microsoft dot asc. Then after that, of course, you can run a quick update. sudo yum update. After that, you should be able to just install the package. The name is mdatp or Microsoft Defender Advanced Threat Protection sudo yum install mdatp debian ubuntu systems on these systems you'll need a couple of additional dependencies sudo apt install curl lib plist dash utils then you can follow basically the same process install the repo gpg key any dependencies and of course mdatp using microsoft defender on linux OK, so running scans. One of the main things that you probably want to do is scan your system for threats. To do that, you open the terminal and type the following command. MDATP scan full. This will scan as many files as it has access to and report on any threats it knows of. You can also run quick or custom scans. The custom option allows you to specify a directory or file or to ignore any exclusions that you've set previously. You could run a scan like this. MDATP scan custom dash dash path and then add the path slash path slash two slash directory whatever and then dash dash ignore dash exclusions if you set an exclusion we'll cover that in a moment you could run this scan updating signatures to update the virus signatures on microsoft defender on linux update it just like any other package sudo yum update mdatp or sudo apt get upgrade mdatp Setting exclusions. To create exclusions so that files that are known to be good aren't reported, you can do that a few ways. To exclude a file type, you can use a command like the following. mdatp exclusion extension add dash dash name dot png. This will take all png files and put them on the exclusion list. I wouldn't necessarily recommend this, but if you have a particular file type that you create that you know will never need to be scanned, you can use that command to do that. To create an exclusion for a directory, you can use a very similar command, 
MDATP, exclusion, folder, add, dash dash path, and then the path. Now whatever directory you just told MDATP to exclude won't be scanned. This is helpful if you have some security testing tools on your system, as those contain virus signatures that can trip up antivirus software. I hope you enjoyed this guide to installing and using Microsoft Defender on Linux. If you're not keen on using Microsoft Defender on Linux, check out some other antivirus software for Linux or learn how to scan for rootkits and viruses in Linux. Links in the description. Okay, as always, thanks for watching. That's all for now. See you next time.